making a shrug here, a scarf, and I am going to make believe that I want to have a bead there. And of course, I did not. You can. There's several ways to put beads on your on your knits. One is by passing them through the yarn that you're knitting with. But of course, if you have something as big as this, you don't want to have to carry your beads throughout your knitting because it is, you know, you have to pass the beads and pass the beads and keep going like that. And this is very fine thread, so you don't want to do that. What you do in this case is that these are twisties, you know, from from the produce section at the supermarket. They are usually like green paper and you put it, you wet it and you take the paper off and you end up with this. So now what I'm going to do is I want a bead there. Let's put this one that it's tiny because you can make it as long as as your bead goes through the wire that is enough. So I am going to pass my wire through the stitch where I want my bead. Okay, I want my bead to be there. Can you see it okay, yes. Anna? Mm -hmm. And I am going to fold my wire in half, as close as half as possible. And then you put your bead through the two wires. There we go. And then I pass my bead through the wire and my stitch. So now the bead is on, on my stitch. It's right there. I take my wire off. Take it out of there. Since this is such a thin yarn. So now my bead is there. I put it back on my needle. And now I can knit my stitch like I normally do. Keep knitting. And my bead is there. Nice. And it's not going to go away because it's, it's stitched in. Yes, it's stitched in. Nice. So can you see it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So that's the way it is. So since I don't want it, I'm just going to leave it there. But and then the stitch that was pulled a little, you can just wiggle it around and it will be okay because it's not going to nothing bad is going to happen there. Okay. And the same thing happens with this thing that I'm making. Another way of putting beads on your knit is like what we talked about, that you pass your beads through put in your yarn, the one that you're going to be knitting with. And so these beads have a big hole, so that's fine. And now, of course, I'm going to be knitting with this. So my beads are in there and I'm going to start knitting with this yarn and I want a bead here so now I just go here pass it through and keep knitting you don't have to pass it to the front right away if I'm knitting I just take my bead, pass it through, and keep knitting, and then this comes to the front by itself. You, you can put your bead in the front or in the back, whatever you wish. And if you have like a two-face double-sided, yeah, you put them in the back and in the front. I almost like how the other method is better because they they lay differently than this yes they well they, yes they are the other ones you have the whole loop passing through and then you knit it and on this one is just they the stick yarn. out they stick out a little bit yeah the other ones do too but you mm -hmm. know what 
it, it depends on what you want to do. I really, you know, I don't like the idea of having my yarn with all the beads yeah. just because I want them in one little strip, you know, like in the middle of here. So yeah. like that you can put your bead whenever you want to pass it through with your little wire and that's it. And Or do it like this mm -hmm. and that's it. Let's do the, the crochet uh, version too. And so let's um, have a, a crochet project here and let's make believe that I have large beads and that I am going to be knitting with the yarn crocheting. Crocheting, yeah. So I'm going to be crocheting with this yarn. So now we go and I'm going to pass this one here. So I am going to crochet normally and on the next one I will put a bead there. So here I want a bead, I pass it. This yarn has those little... Okay, so now I keep going with my stitch. And there's my bead. And then of course you can do it the other way also. You can do it with the wire. And let's do one with the wire. Yeah. Let's do it with the other method. I, I decided that I want to have a bead uh, right there. So I put my little wire and I pass it through. And I'm going to use a smaller one. I'm going to put this little tiny little bead there. And because I don't want it everywhere. And I pass that one through my stitch. Water in my stitch. Take the wire off. You wrapped it. I wrapped it. There. There we go. And now I have my bead in place and I keep crocheting. And of course I can have it wherever I want. I mean I can have it like right there. Mm -hmm. One more right after. Yeah, what what if I want it there like in the middle of my stitch? So that's okay. You can pass it, put your bead through and it would be in the middle of your stitch. I think I'm going to have to use another wire. Decided that I want another one there. I put my wire through, fold it, pass my bead, pass it through, take your wire off. They tend to twist, so be aware that you have to be very gentle with your yarn. And now my bead is there. And I keep crocheting. So there you have the two ways of doing it. You have your beads and of course this edge is going to look like this. So it's, these beads are going to pop out and that's very nice. 